Vai lá, me baby. Ba, 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 dum, dum, dum. Sassy, vai lá, me baby. We're not live yet. We'll go live here in about 20 seconds. Let me join my cafecito. And by the way, after these are awesome Christmas gifts. <laughs> it's so pretty. Awesome Christmas gifts. They really, really are. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go live. Here we go. There we go. Corpus Christi's very own Sessie. Bye, love me, baby. Good morning. Double R Radio 850. Fun of the December the 15th, 2020. Tuesday morning. Oh, Ten days away from Christmas. Ten days away from blowing all your money. I'm serious, man. If you're not careful, you can spend all your money doing all that Christmas shopping. You really, really can. Gotta look for the deals. You really do. You know I'm looking for my deals when I'm buying my beer at Dollar General. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> Nothing like a Dollar General light. There we go. <laughs> there we go. A 24-pack for a dollar ninety-nine. There we go. Hey, man, gotta cut corners, man. Christmas time. Gotta take care of business. That's just some good morning shout -out. Good morning shout -out going out to uh, the ever so political, Michelle Cohen. You gotta be happy, Michelle. You know, Joe Biden, President Biden kicking in. Gotta be happy, Michelle. Gotta be happy. Anyways, good morning. Also, Cindy Vieira. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I uh, don't want to miss anybody here. Tina Purcell. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Sylvia Rojas. También. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Rudy Rodriguez. How you doing, amigo? Alicia Gonzalez. Good morning, good morning. Double R Radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez, Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Buenos dias. Anyway, Tuesday morning it is, and uh, 10 days away from Christmas. And, well, it's, uh, I've done half of my Christmas shopping, but I still got to do the other half. So, it is what it is, and I'll take care of it this coming week, and that'll be the end of that. But I'm going to give you some good advice. If you're confused about what to get somebody, simple cash or gift cards, se acabó el vato. Cash or gift cards? That's a ticket right there. It really, really is. Good morning, John. I got out the double already no sponsor. Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas. By the way, um, lots to talk about here, but before we move forward here, how about them Dallas Cowboys? Woohoo! Go Cowboys! Uh, that's uh, how many games have we won? Four? <laughs> Four games, man. <laughs> We're on the roll. <laughs> All right. Good morning, John. I got out the double R radio sponsor, Dora Peña Rodriguez, Garfield, Texas. Her and Big Ed. There we go. Now, when when they called him Big Ed, you find out right away. I was like, hey, what's going on, Ed? Good to meet you, dude. And yeah, man. Hey, hey, good to meet you, brother. There we go. I never want to get in an argument with you, Big Ed. I don't know. I don't know. Me and you are going to get along just fine. There we go. Not really, man, because if me and Big Ed were to ever want to strap it on, I go, hang on, Ed, let me go get a ladder. I'll be right back, but let me go get a ladder first. You know, then, then, you know, then, let's try to even the, the playing field here a little bit there, Big Ed. No, but really, man, Big Ed's an awesome guy. He really, really is. Anyways, uh, good morning, John. I got out to Double R Radio sponsor, Deborah Camarillo, Anaheim, California. Good morning, Deborah. Anyways, let's see what's going on out here in this crazy, crazy world. By the way, by the way, um... This past Sunday evening, I was announcing that the interview I did with Abraham Quintanilla was at 113,000 people that have viewed the interview I did with Abraham Quintanilla. As of this morning, 120,000 people have viewed the interview I've done with Abraham Quintanilla. If you've never checked it out, Check it out. Go to YouTube and type in Robert Reavers Radio. That's my channel. i got a whole lot of interviews there, including the one with Abraham Quintanilla. You're going to love it. You really, really are. Now, I have a lot to talk about here, man. Here we go. Let's see here. Lots of news here. Let me see here. Where do I want to go first? And, 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 and. We'll go here first. Check this out. Florida. A man who was playing golf um, had his golf game delayed when his golf ball landed on the tail of an alligator. If that was me and I'm playing golf and my golf ball lands in la cola of an alligator, I'm going to say, you can keep it, dude. It's all yours. And it's all, you can, you can, golf club, sure. Throw pack of beer, sure. I'm not messing with alligators. I want nothing to do with alligators. Alligators are ruthless. They, they'll eat anything. <laughs> they will. 
They'll even eat the tamales from Bill Miller's. <laughs> right. Bill Miller's, man. Doggy Bill Miller tamales. You know, I went to Bill Miller's uh, website on uh, people who were who were making comments about the Bill Miller tamales, and everybody was putting them down. Everybody was saying, they're terrible, they're horrible. Only eat them if you want to clean out your system. Really, man, Bill Miller tamales. <clears throat> Want nothing to do with. Good morning, John. I got up to Diana Costa. Good morning, good morning. Now, here we go. What else do we have? Um, Florida. Another Florida story. A Florida woman who had just recently put up her Christmas tree came to find out that there was a raccoon hiding inside of her Christmas tree. This is why I don't buy Christmas trees anymore. I want nothing to do with Christmas trees. That's why I put on my Christmas tree video. Right over there on my flat screen, and you're probably going, Robert, wait a minute, Robert. You've got a little Christmas tree back there. Yes, I do. But there's no way in the world a raccoon can hide in there. So I don't mind a little baby Christmas tree, but if I want a big Christmas tree, lights and the whole enchilada, I'll just put on my Christmas tree DVD, and I'm good to go. So there you go. How crazy for a Florida woman to be walking in her living room doing some things and seeing her tree shaking. Right? And she said, hey, what the hell's going on there? And she comes to find out there was a raccoon in her tree. There we go. Anyways, authorities were called and removed the raccoon. And the raccoon bailed himself out of jail about two hours later. There you go. Now, let's see here what else I got going on. Da, 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 da. You know, I wasn't going to talk about this, but I'm going to talk about this briefly here. Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, nope, don't want that. We'll go over here. Uh, don't, don't want that. We'll go over here. Now, I want to talk about this here quickly. Only just to show you. The stupidity of men. And guys are going, you better be careful, dude. Be careful what you're saying, Robert. You're talking about guys, dude. No, but really, man, I'm not saying all of us. Just some of us. Uh, and I'm not even going to include myself in this. Check this out. San Antonio, Texas. A man surrendered after being barricaded inside his ex-girlfriend's home while armed with a machete. How crazy is this, right? A man is now in San Antonio police custody after barricading himself inside his ex-girlfriend's home, armed with a machete. 4.45 p.m. Sunday, police said the man whose identity has not yet been released was arrested and, and is currently unclear what charges he will be facing. What are you charging with? With carrying a machete? Really? Anyways, the incident began around 9.23 in the morning when the man went to his ex-girlfriend's house Wanting to meet her new boyfriend. <laughs> All right. With a machete. Tráeme ese cabrón para acá. Le voy a la madre. Tráeme ese cabrón para acá. How crazy for right for an ex-boyfriend. How disgruntled have you got to be to be that disgruntled to see your girl, your ex-girlfriend with a new boyfriend and you want to meet the new boyfriend armed with a machete. I want nothing to do with that. Those kind of women I want nothing to do with. Eh, eh. Good morning, John. I got out to Great Signs Ramos. Good morning, good morning. Diana Morales. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Linda Flores. Good morning, amiga. How are we doing? So anyway, there we go. The man surrendered, and so did the machete. There we go. Anyways, here we go. Another one. Check this out. A six-year-old racked up $16,000 on his mom's credit card playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine letting your kids, you know, there are parents out there that let their kids mess with their phone, they can do this, whatever. Well, this kid, man, <laughs> I guess he didn't have enough video games, so he kept on buying and buying and buying and buying more and more play, and before you know it, he racked up $16,000 in video game playing on his mom's phone. $16,000! That's a lot of Michelob Ultra. And there you go. So anyway, the six-year-old little boy has uh, been disciplined by he's never going to play a video game in his life ever again. There you go. Good morning, John. I'm going to have to let the Alvarez. Good morning, good morning. Now, let's see here what else is going on. i got a couple more here for you. Now, check this out. This is a sad story. A San Antonio's family's lawnmower used to maintain a cemetery has been stolen. Que cabrones, right? I mean, nothing is safe outside anymore. This poor family, a uh, riding lawnmower, they used it to, to keep an Islamic cemetery clean. Well, somebody went and stole that lawnmower in the middle of the night, a riding lawnmower. Man, que cabrones, man, come on. It's the, it's the time to be giving, not stealing. So anyway, there we go. If you see anybody riding in a red and black um, 
riding lawnmower, uh, just call up the authorities. Uh, a reward has been given. There we go. Uh, Christmas tamale plate from Bill Miller's. There we go. <laughs> right? Gotta leave Bill Miller's alone. Let's see here. I think I got one more for y'all. Now, check this out. I want to give this one here, and then we're going to go ahead and get back to whatever I need to do. Good morning. Uh, shout out, good night to Leroy Lujan. Good morning, good morning, good morning, amigo. Let me see here. How much time do I have? I got a little bit more time. Now, here we go. Check this out. A man was... I'll give you the headlines, and then I'll read it to you. A man was sleeping inside a dumpster was hospitalized after he was thrown into a garbage truck trap. How crazy is this, right? A man who was asleep in a dumpster and was picked up by a garbage truck has been hospitalized with minor injuries. All this happened at 5.15 in the morning, Monday morning, after a garbage truck picked up the trash behind a KFC for La Bandera Road. The man had been sleeping in the dumpster. <laughs> Can you imagine a sleep inside of a dumpster? We can't imagine that. <laughs> And then to be thrown inside a garbage truck, you're going like, hey man, what the hell? The man was yelling and screaming and the driver of the garbage truck heard him, pulled over, lowered whatever he had to lower and pulled the man out and there you go. But that's crazy, man. It really, really is for this poor man to be sleeping inside of a dumpster. And, uh, well, it's, uh, um, he survived everything. He was actually quoted the same when the cops asked him, where did you think you were going? Where did you think they were taking you? And the man was quoted as saying, to the dump, to the dump, to the dump, dump, dump. Nah, nah, that wasn't funny, huh? Eh, that wasn't funny whatsoever, right? All right, I got you. All right, okay. Whenever you know, I, I, I throw out a pretty bad joke like that, I play a song. Good morning, Double R Radio. How we doing, everybody? Uh, Tuesday morning it is, 10 days before Christmas. By the way, if you're curious to see what I want for Christmas, cash. Cash usually works. And I, I'm not too picky. Cash. Benjamins, Thomas Jeffersons, no George Washingtons, you know, 20 and above, <laughs> and we'll be good to go. Let's get, <laughs> let's get back to the morning show. Join me now, RobertRevisRadio.com. By the way, awesome Christmas gifts right here, Double R Radio Morning Show Coffee Mugs. Awesome Christmas gifts can be given your Double R Radio Morning Show Coffee Mug. Right? Collector's items, there we go, nice little Christmas idea. A stocking stuffer. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me, RobertRevisRadio.com. Simple, RobertRevisRadio.com. Join me now. Oh.